final cut show that never ends. Today I've got one for you, man. It's called Compliance. Now you may have heard some buzz on the web about this film. It's basically about true event that happened at a fast food restaurant where a manager who's stressed during the very busy time gets a call by someone who says they're a police officer. And they convince her that one of her employees, a young attractive girl, had stolen from a customer and they get the manager to get the girl to come to the back room they get her to get strip searched and then when the manager has to leave she has to have someone else watch the girl as the police says oh we do have officers coming and each person that comes in the room he tries to convince them to do things that just are wrong okay oh Man, and, and you watch these events unfold and it makes you feel really uncomfortable. It, this movie is proof you don't have to have lots of blood and guts to be a horror movie, okay? This is, the events that happen in this are horrific, especially when you learn that what is being portrayed in film is about 99% accurate to what happened in an incident in real life. Yes, folks, this is based off of a true story and actually a true series of events that happened in America over the span of like a decade where uh, there were at least 70-some instances, according to the end of the film, where a guy would call up, pose as a someone of authority, usually a cop, and get a manager to get an employee in the back room and do things that uh, they were convinced convincing the person were okay when they really weren't okay. Um, in this performance, though, in this movie, Ann Dowd, who plays the overstressed manager, does a brilliant job as the woman who thinks she's in, she's doing the right thing. She's so stressed and so distracted by so many things going on uh, that she really truly feels she's doing the right thing and also showing that how she was unaware what was actually going on in the room when she wasn't in there with these other people and this girl who's the victim now the victim uh, is played by Dreama Walker beautifully it was a very uh, I would say this is a very strong role for her but also uh, you know a very controversial and risky role for her because she keeps herself fairly exposed and, and I, I bold role for this actress to take and probably for her because she does a great job. Everybody does a really good job in here in selling this reluctance yet this compliance that they go through with the guy who just over the phone says, oh yeah, we're cops and we have someone coming, but until then, let's do this. Uh, you know, it blows your mind. Now, during the movie, you may watch yourself and go, didn't anyone at all question what is going, you know, what they were doing at all? And, and, you know, it addresses that idea that why didn't you just say no or look for some other confirmation, okay? Uh, now, this the events portrayed in the film are the events of the extreme case of just how far things uncomfortably went uh, the abuse and everything for uh, this uh, one situation, but there were similar situations throughout the country with this prank call happening. And that's what I think is even more disturbing, is the fact that this actually happened and these things actually did occur. Uh, and that was blows your mind as well. So I would highly recommend Compliance. If you're looking for a decent film, a film that it may feel make you feel a bit uncomfortable, but it is definitely a subject that needs to be addressed and people need to be aware that this stuff actually can happen. Uh, I loved all the performances by everybody involved and I really recommend it to anyone who's a fan of independent cinema and uh, who's looking for a, a film that shows you don't need a lot, of, a lot of effects or a lot of gore to still create a horrific film in a good way. It's not horrific like bad, it's horrific as in, oh my god. Okay, just want to clear that up. <laughs> and that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut, folks. Till next time, keep